Pokemon is trying to take over your life. We've got Pokemon Sleep now. What's next? Pokemon Brush Your Teeth. Laura thought that was a meme. I thought it was a meme, but it actually exists. It's a real thing. Then we're going to have Pokemon How to Go to the Toilet. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Driving Your Car. Pokemon Study. Man, I don't know. The point is, Pokemon is trying to infiltrate every little bit of your life. They are. I actually wouldn't mind a Pokemon Poop Tracker and a Pokemon Period Tracker. Oh, Ladies, Pokemon no, Period Tracker, yes. I guess you can't relate. Only fire types for you. <laughs> what is that supposed to I mean? I actually don't know, but just red. <laughs> We're here to talk about Pokemon Sleep today because yeah. we've had it for a couple of weeks now. Mm -hmm. I actually got early access to it being an Android user in Australia. So I played it for a little bit in the early access. Does it help you sleep? That's the question. Does it really work? Does Pokemon Sleep actually help you fix your sleeping pattern? Wait, 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 wait. I've got a good one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Ready? Don't sleep on that subscribe button. <laughs> Oh, a Pokemon subscribe to some kind of gaming app. Oh! Yeah. So, Pokemon Sleep, basically you have a Snorlax who sits in the middle of the screen. He exudes this drowsy power every night when you're asleep and it attracts Pokemon into your campsite who you can befriend in the morning, you know, catch them all as you do with Pokemon games. I will say it's really annoying to catch them all because to catch them you've got to feed them these little Pokemon biscuits. Mm -hmm which you can, one, buy from the shop, which we will talk about in a second, or you get like one or two a day. Occasionally you get a bonus one, but most of the time, man, I've gone days and days without getting any biscuits. So you've really got to pick and choose your favorites. You mm. know what I mean? You have to choose. You can't catch all of the Pokemon that come into your campsite overnight. That's pretty much it. <laughs> really. It's, it's quite a basic, game if we mm. can call it that the tutorial goes on for like years i oh. honestly i don't know why there's so much information it's super basic half the stuff i haven't even done you can cook for your snorlax to give it extra points mm. the more points your snorlax gets the better pokemon come and the rarer pokemon you like have to get to a certain level every week and then you can move biomes the next week yeah then you have to start over with a new snorlax you it's turn pretty it bare on bones. when you go to sleep yeah and you turn it off when you wake up and you catch your Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. But it does record you. So be <gasps> careful what the See, Pokemon company hears. Well, yeah. So don't talk mm -hmm. about your world domination plots while you're about to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Maybe turn it on after you've had Hanky Panky. You know? Mm -hmm. Don't fart in your sleep. Everyone send in your best fart clips. But it will track you if somebody breaks in your house yeah see so if there was a home invasion yeah yeah yep. and then the person was heard talking in your room and yep. then you were able to you know hand that in as evidence boom you've it, caught the killer if you get murdered in your sleep pokemon sleep might just be responsible for bringing that criminal to justice <laughs> so i did mention it a little bit ago the shop there is some greedy microtransactions involved in this game. Yeah, I've mm. never bought a Pokemon biscuit with my own money, but I do have quite a few of them. So every time you level up your Snorlax, I think you get some like bonus points and you usually get, I don't know, a thousand at a time. And a Poke Biscuit is like 150 points. Mm. Mm. So you can get by without spending any money. And I think they actually say that in like the description that you don't have to spend money yes. to play the game. It's like Pokemon Go, you know, you don't have to spend money, but we all know that, you know, you're out of Pokeballs, mm, I'll just put a dollar in, mm. you know? There's gonna be a whole load of people who are gonna be like, mm, I, I really want this Pokemon today. I really want this Larvitar. I'm just going to put a buck in. Yeah. I'm just going to put two bucks in. That's it always reels you in, doesn't it? It is quite heavy on the microtransactions. Mm. You can buy pretty much anything in the game instead of sleeping to get it. And then there's leveling up your Pokemon, which is going to take years to do. My God, I'm trying to evolve my Growlithe into an Arcanine. I'm like two weeks in. It's on level six. Yeah, there's just, there's just not really any chance because to level up a Pokemon, you need to get the candies. 
And you do need like 50 candies. I don't know if you can actually buy the candies. I was trying to look on the shop the other day to see if you could buy candies because I was like, surely if I was going to buy anything on Pokemon Sleep, it would be the candies. But I couldn't find them. But maybe I was just, you know, dumb. It's a mobile game app. There are microtransactions. Gotcha mechanics. Mm. For Charles. Now, hopefully we've explained kind of how it works. <laughs> It might have been a bit confusing, but there's really not that much to the game. So hopefully you've got the gist. The question of today's video, does it actually help you sleep or is it just Pokemon trying to record your night farts? Is your sleeping pattern better? No, <laughs> no. The two weeks I've played it, I've got a grade of F. Big fat fail in my sleeping pattern every week because I sleep for like four hours a night and then like on the weekends I'll sleep for like 10 or 11 to try to make up for it. Apparently that's not healthy. So honestly, it just kind of makes me feel bad. Bad enough to fix your sleeping pattern? No, no, just bad, I, stop. I can kind of see in a way, it does help me get off my phone earlier because a new day doesn't start at like 12 o'clock when the calendar does. A new day in Pokemon Sleep starts at 4 a.m. So look we've got pretty bad sleeping patterns and sometimes i struggle to get to sleep by 4 a.m and i find myself i'm like in bed just like scrolling through reels on instagram for hours but i don't want to miss out on my sleep for the day because i'm trying to catch them all so it does stop me from doom scrolling until 5 a.m i only doom scroll until 3 59 a.m mm -hmm. now so in a way but i don't really know if that's um really gonna transform my sleeping pattern you know <laughs> what i mean i don't know if it's gonna be life changing it's kind of like 3 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m it's all the same really isn't it it's late it's late mm. it's late there is one tiny little thing it helps me with so in the morning i'll pick up my phone i'll click end sleep session i'll see what pokemon i've attracted over the night collect the berries or whatever that charmander's been gathering up during the night and I'll do that instead of getting on Facebook or Twitter and scrolling. So that's probably a little bit of a healthier habit rather than just like social media as soon as you wake up. Because mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that that's not a very good thing. No. There is actually one other way that Pokemon Sleep does sort of help my sleeping pattern. So I don't know if there's anyone else out there that has the affliction that I have where I turn off my alarm in my sleep. And then I just go back to sleep and pretend like it never happened. And then I wake up at like two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like, wow, where did the day go? But with Pokemon sleep, you wake up in the morning and then I want to check my Pokemon. So it helps me keep my eyes open and not close them again and fall back to sleep. So there's just another little You can't actually turn away. the brightness of the app down. And they do that on purpose. Mm. Yeah, the so it does help you wake bright. up a bit more. Mm. So you have to be like, oh, <laughs> Like this morning, I was like, whoa, turn and the brightness your, down. Your oh, eyes no, have can't. adjusted. Oh. Your eyes have adjusted. The then, right? light. <laughs> <sighs> Pokemon has infiltrated my routine, though. Yeah. Before I go to bed and when I wake up, I'm thinking about Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure that's like the oh, whole point. That's the mind. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 Bleep that out, I'm but you know to. what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to be the first thing you think about in the morning dude, this is and why... the last thing you think about at night. Dude, this is what we, we've already established this at the start though. Psychology. Pokemon clean your teeth, Pokemon poops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pokemon study, Pokemon period tracker, period tracker, Pokemon it's time to eat dinner. They've already got every time you go outside for a walk. Mm -hmm. So they're just trying to infiltrate all aspects of your life, man. Yeah, it's true. The more you think about Pokemon, the more likely you are when you walk into your local game store or Kmart or Walmart. Oh, I've got that Pokemon in sleep. Maybe I want that Pokemon card. Oh, mm -hmm. you see this little toy over here. Yeah, I'm more interested in that now because I'm constantly thinking about Pokemon. That's oh, true. well, maybe I'll buy a Switch now mm. to play more Pokemon. I see what they're doing here. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all just this giant network that they're building. Of Pokemon. Kind of scary. Tim I mean, full hats on. Kind of scary. But, you know, it's just Pokemon, let's be honest. They're pretty harmless. How could Pokemon sleep actually help your sleeping pattern, though, do you think? 
Like what could they change to make it actually make our sleeping pattern better? Well, I reckon if it was Pokemon wake up instead of Pokemon sleep, because then I would be, you know, inspired to actually wake up in the morning. Oh, so you get That's points where I if you struggle. actually get out of bed If you in get up on minutes. time, yes. And still lie in bed for an hour? Yep. Pokemon wake up and like <laughs> stay up. But look, Pokemon is not a miracle worker life coach. And these are <laughs> things that I need to work on myself. I can't rely on Pokemon to do these things for me. Yet. <laughs> Yet. So we know we normally do Switch related content here on some kind of gaming. You know, Switch, Nintendo, Pokemon, Pokemon Sleep. Yeah, there's a rough line there, right? And we haven't really seen many videos on it, so... No, I haven't seen a lot of people do videos on it. And I find Pokemon Sleep really interesting. And I want to know how you guys feel mm. about Pokemon infiltrating every part of our lives. Are you excited by it or are you scared by it? I'm kind of like a mixture of both. If there's one thing, it's Pokemon. You mm. know, I'd rather Pokemon do it than... Yeah, exactly. Meta or Elon right. Musk. Right, you know? I would rather the world be taken over by Pokemon than yeah. some kind of evil entity. Exactly. If you could choose between world peace and Pokemon being real, who would you choose as your starter? Pokemon Furbies, right? They look kind of like Furbies and they actually are equipped with... Uh, actually, that sounds like a scary movie. So let's not go there. Let's not you give mean, anyone like any ideas. Five Nights at Freddy's Pokemon? Well, yeah. Is that what you're getting at? I was at? thinking that first they would start off like as a life coach. Yeah. The AI is very advanced and they, you know, get to know you and they get to know how to get me up in the morning. But then they would probably become self-aware and take over the world, which is probably their plan. 